Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to run Ethereum node locally. So why would you want to run Ethereum locally? So normally when you run Ethereum, you basically run the Ethereum client and then that client connects to the Ethereum network, which is basically a decentralized network of other Ethereum clients. So you connect to your peers. But uh, if you are an Ethereum developer and you are trying to make protocol level changes into Ethereum, which means if you are trying to make any changes in the go ethereum repository for example which is the which is currently the execution client for ethereum then um, to test things out it is easier to test it out if you are running it locally rather than to directly connect it to a test network or main network so i have uh, written down these steps which i will show you about how to run it locally so this running will be before merge. Uh, before merge means uh, both the execution and consensus clients are running in the same repo, which is the Go Ethereum repo. So after merge, what happened was you Go Ethereum became the execution client and the consensus client, you have to run it separately. But for simplicity, I'm going to show you the before merge setup, like how to run the entire thing from one repo essentially. So I will follow these steps and I will show you how to run it locally. So the first step is to basically uh, clone the repo. So I have cloned it as you can see here. The next step is to execute this command make get. So what this does is it creates the get executable. And once you run that executable, then you can run Ethereum locally. So I will execute this command. I had executed it before that's why it was fast otherwise it may take few minutes to run it and what it does is saves this get executable inside this path so dot slash build bin get so if I simply uh, run this command it will run the get executable in its default setting uh, that is one option so by default it connects to the mainnet but uh, since we want to run it locally which means we have to set things up from scratch locally. So one of the most, one of the important things you have to decide in a blockchain is how the starting point looks like. So the starting point is the Genesis block. So the first block is called the Genesis block and that sets the tone for the rest of the uh, blockchain. So inside the Genesis file, you need to give the configurations and based on that configuration, that blockchain will run. So I have this Genesis file here, which has some uh, standard configuration. This you can change based on what you want, when you, what you want. So there are a few key value pairs here, as you can see. So inside this config, we have this chain ID. So chain ID helps us prevent replay attacks. Uh, homestead block eip 150 block so these are basically the hard fork blocks from the past and the value of zero means those hard forks are activated from the very beginning so you don't have to think about them um, so th this is a list of all the hard fork blocks which are activated from the word go next comes alloc which is the allocation so which address should have how much ethereum so that's what you give here so i have put a random address here with certain amount of balance so you have coinbase which is the address to which the fees are given uh, difficulty is a mining difficulty level there is extra data gas limit norms mix hash parent hash so the parent hash of the first block um, there is no parent basically so it's just zero and timestamp so i basically have to have this set up as my genesis file so I will put this inside this genesis.json file and I'm putting it inside a uh, data directory so I simply copy paste this command so now I have opened the uh, genesis.json and now I'm going to copy paste this setup okay so now as you can see i have created this genesis file okay i missed a bracket here so you have to put that bracket here as well and after that there is an initialization command which is basically it initializes the network with this particular genesis file and you have to give a data dir which means 
the log data will basically stay inside that di directory so i will be executing this command And as you can see, it created a genesis state, it created a database, and created a bunch of these log files, and all of which are inside this temp data dir folder. So now this initial setup is done. So now we are actually ready to run the get uh, executable. So this is by this command. So you are running this get executable, uh, specifying the data directory. Console means you are given a console where you can actually interact using ETH commands. Interact with the blockchain using the ETH commands. Uh, HTTP means you are exposing the RPC endpoints. And this command basically allows us to use Remix with this local blockchain. So I can show how that is done in some other video. But Remix is basically you using Remix you can interact uh, using any blockchain uh, in a much more user-friendly manner. So let's execute this command. Okay, so here there are a bunch of uh, default logs. So it is setting the peer count, global gas cap and all these things using label DB as a um, backing database. and the chain id which has been set inside the um, genesis file and there are these uh, hard fork blocks which i talked about before and now uh, it has actually not started because it's not producing blocks so to produce blocks you have to mention uh, which one is going to be the miner so which address is actually going to create blocks so for that there is this command called uh, set etherbase so once you set that then you can do minor dot start and then it it takes a while before it actually starts so you may have to wait for a few minutes okay now it has started so it says uh, mind potential block the block number and then you can see this number followed by the epochs so you can see the block number two three four five and it's probably generating like one block every second or a few seconds so this is a quick example of how to uh, start the ethereum network uh, locally and uh, in a future video i can show you how to actually interact with this like uh, which will include querying for uh, different data like querying for a transaction querying for a block information locally as well as uh, compiling and deploying smart contracts and in this case uh, the remix website which is mentioned here that will be very handy so that i will show in a uh, future video thank you